Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here. Tuesday the 6th of March. Uh, just a quick one for you uh, today. Um, I'm going to show you some charts in a moment that uh, I think will be very interesting. It's uh, charts going into April from the CFS model, which will be available on the site very, very soon. So I'll show you those in just a second. But uh, for now, let's just take a look at how things shape up over the next uh, couple of weeks or so. Um, this is the GFS Ensemble model, which you can get by going to the page that you're on at the moment. Go to Weather Charts, click on that. And then down the left-hand side, you'll notice there's an option here for GFS Ensemble. Click on Rain, <coughs> excuse me, and that gives you these charts. So uh, it's the charts of both Rainfall, which are the coloured shadings on here, and also pressure, uh, the isobars are the solid black lines. So here's the chart for uh, 12 o'clock this afternoon. Notice the rain coming into Western Scotland and also into Ireland. Now watch what happens through tonight and into tomorrow. That rain spreads southeast across all parts of the country. I think we could be seeing uh, perhaps 20 millimetres of rain for Western Scotland, only three or four millimetres for southern parts of England as that rain clears away to the east during the latter part of tomorrow. But it is going to be a more unsettled day tomorrow with strong westerly winds and uh, showers following behind this front to northern and western Scotland and Western Ireland, some of them heavy at times. The front then clears across the southeast uh, by mid afternoon tomorrow. Brighter weather follows in from the west. Into Tuesday, so we find windy conditions again through Scotland, some strong winds across uh, many parts of the north, and some showers too for northern and western Scotland and Western Ireland, perhaps cloudier and more drizzly for these western parts of Scotland through Wednesday. Down to the south though, it looks as if it's going to be drier, it's going to be brighter too, and looks as if it should be, uh, it should be remaining dry. Sorry, this is on Thursday, isn't it? It should be remaining dry through Thursday as well. Then as we head in towards Friday, high pressures down to the south, the southwesterly flow affecting all parts. Some showers and some outbreaks of rain for northern western Scotland, but for many you can see it is dry once again. And then to Friday, well, watch that high pressure build up towards the north look. Still outbreaks of drizzle for western Scotland, but then look through the weekend, that high really does become a dominant feature during the course of the weekend and into next week too. It slowly shifts its position into Europe. Again, northern and western Scotland at times seeing some outbreaks of drizzly rain, but generally for most of the country it looks as if it is going to be dry with sunny spells and just bits and pieces of drizzle affecting those western coasts at times. But probably by the 18th, 19th, the model is trying to bring in more of a westerly flow. So trying to bring a return to more unsettled conditions by the time we get after the 18th of the month. And Probably that's a reasonable solution, but look how dry it is still across these southern parts of the country. Now, uh, I promised I'd show you uh, some charts which are upcoming uh, to the site very soon, um, as soon as I can find the page that I've put them on. There we go. Um, so these are these are the CFS charts. Now, the CFS is a long-range model. You have to take that into account and you have to bear that in mind. And it runs various different ensemble members. This is just one ensemble member. Um, but I wanted to just give you a preview of the charts and to show you where the CFS is going. It's issued every single day. Um, it's useful for a guidance, but you certainly can't use it like you can use the GFS or Herlam or UK Met Office or any of those other models. It's just a long range guidance. So you have to treat it with caution, but you can kind of pick out some things from it. Now, I've got the charts here. This is rainfall in, um, in week steps. So this is the week ending midnight on the 11th. So that's midnight on Saturday. And it's rainfall. You can see a fair amount of rainfall there across the British Isles during this week. Most of that actually coming about because of tomorrow's system. The CFS has picked up on this as well as the GFS. And that means that you can have reasonable um, levels of expectations in this model. So if we click it on to uh, week two, that's what happens. Look. There's the dry weather coming in in week two because of the, um, the high pressure that's building in across the country. Now, into week three, into week three, I keep showing the wrong one then, don't I? Into week three, and look, at breaks of rain just coming into northern parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, but generally dry down to the south. This takes us up to uh, Sunday the 25th of March. Let's have a look at week four, see what happens. So this takes us up to uh, Sunday the 1st of April. We're still dry, look across the south. Let's look at week five. This takes us to the 8th of April, but look, a big change taking place. So the CFS is hinting that from about the 8th, from about the 1st, 2nd of April, 
we could see a change to more westerly conditions. And if we just knock it on to week six, there we go, look, very wet, much wetter conditions coming in. Week seven, again, look, still wet. And week eight, to take us to the end of April, we've still got those wetter conditions around. And what about into the beginning part of May? So this is getting into the beginning of May, and look, we're still in these damper conditions. And you can see here how into the middle of May, still got those damper conditions around. So all in all, the CFS, despite you having to be very careful with it, and this changes day to day, believe me, it really does. But the CFS is hinting at a staying dominated by dry weather through March, and then this breakdown to wetter, more westerly conditions into April. Now what's interesting here, is that talking to Captain Bob, he was quite convinced that we'd see a breakdown in conditions during April to go more westerly and to bring some more unsettled weather. And the CFS is starting to back that up. So I think that's where we're going to go for now. We're going to go for a dry March and then we're going to make it more unsettled through April and through much of May too. So the jet stream returning, more unsettled conditions returning as well during April. That's where we're going to go for now. Now as always, this site's kept free of charge by the advert you see around it. So if you see an advert you like, click on it, go through to the advertiser. It generates revenue for us and it shows the advertiser that you're interested in what they're doing. So once again, thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.